Seven Star and Fernip is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In today's video, we'll be covering the most consistent solo build to take this Pokemon down. With only a couple of days to take advantage of the first time appearing in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Infernip will be running from the 4th as of recording this video until the 6th of October. Don't worry though, if you do miss this opportunity to grab Infernip in game, it will be returning from the 11th until the 13th before leaving for good. Now today's build is going to be featuring Coma O. We've got to give a big shout out to organic guy 3462 for sharing this in a comment section on a previous video fighting terror type shell belt as the held item and level 100 plus hyper trained the moveset is going to be iron defense drain punch body press and clangorous soul with the most important thing the bulletproof ability that's going to give you an immunity to aura sphere one of the attacks from inferno ev spread is going to be 252 evs in hp and in defense with the remainder put into special defense with an impish nature the build as always will be down in the description below we'll jump into the raid now show you how easy this can be so turn one we're going to lock in with a clangorous soul this is going to give us an omni boost across the board to all our stats and it will also mean, more importantly, that we outspeed in the Inferno. You can see that Aura Sphere coming out and the Bulletproof ability activating already. So kind of giving us a free turn here. One of the drawbacks of Clangorous Soul, it does cut our HP by a third. But that's fine because we're going to be able to heal off any of the damage done or the HP taken this next turn. Because, like I say, we outspeed the Inferno, which is the key in this raid. And we do see our Terra Orb charge stolen. Next turn, we're going to lock in with a Drain Punch, like I say cover off all that health we're not doing too much damage here but basically at this stage what we're doing is waiting for the message stats and abilities on our side of the field have been reset once we see that message we're going to be able to start the setup in this raid and make a very quick work of this inferno now here we go there's the message we're looking for this is where we want to set up our iron defenses so you can go for two here and then start attacking, but I kind of like to prefer to just get all three done at the start of the raid and then just spam the body press after this. Essentially get to plus six in our defense stat. That's going to maximize the damage done from body press. Uh, you can go, like I say, for just two here and then start the onslaught. But like I say, further down the line, it's going to be quicker if you get all three set up at the start of this raid. If your health is in any danger here, just go for the two and get some recovery but if you're like us and we're all healthy as we can be we can go for that third one and you can see that the inferno even with those boosted moves critical hits anything like that just not able to really touch the coma on why i say it's the most consistent build because even if you do get burned from a stray flare blitz or anything like that you're not going to be affected by it because you're hitting off body press it plays off your defense stat that's not affected by the burn status condition. So one of the real big keys to this raid and why it doesn't matter what partnering Pokemon you have with you, I'm all going to be able to run through this raid very quickly. So if you're looking to farm Herba Mystica over this weekend when the raid is running, this is probably the best one. I think the Annihilate, the Iron Hands are a little bit volatile and for RNG purposes can be hit or miss sometimes. Now, once we've got those three Iron Defenses or two Iron Defenses up, you want to just lock in with your body press, chase down that terrestrialization. It shouldn't take you too long before you can terrestrialize. And you can do that. Obviously, you're going to be doing a lot more damage in this raid. And we're just going to take a flurry of attacks from the Inferno. It's going to do all the usual things in the raid. It's going to get a nasty plot set up. Further down the line, it's going to get a sword stance and then a focus energy and just start firing attacks. But the whole time, even after we do terrestrialize, that aura sphere is going to be something that we are immune to. And now we can terrestrialize. Now we can launch off the body press and we can start to close this raid out. The raid timer in a pretty good position now, about that 60% mark, so still very healthy and got a lot of time to be able to kind of cut through this, catch up with those other builds that we featured on the channel this weekend. So the Terror Blast coming out from the Inferno, doing minimal damage to us as we are now able to fire off a Terror boosted plus six body press into the Inferno. You can see the damage that it's doing here, so it's gonna be very quick to kind of cut through. Two more will break the shield, and then another two will probably be enough to finish this raid up. Body press to break the shield and that's done. And we might be even in range to take down the Inferno with one more body press. But like I said, it's very quick. You don't need to worry about PP max and any moves because it's not going to get to that point. Consistency throughout this raid is the key and it's going to be very easy. Like I say, if you've got this in game to finish off the Inferno very, very quickly, very consistently and farm those all important Herba Mystica over this weekend. We just missed the knockout, but that's fine. We'll get one more 
it's just taking the seven body presses throughout this raid maybe you get it with a roll with six but it's like i say as easy as that and then you can get your rewards take them respawn it on the map and just repeat, rinse and repeat through the whole weekend it's a very quick process very consistent you're gonna have no problems with this build so i hope you found today's video useful if you have do consider dropping a like on the video and do share around in the community to help others have an easier time against infernip over this weekend as always if you do have your own builds that you've been having a lot of success with drop them down in the comment section below and share them around to help others out and if you're not subscribed to the channel and you like this sort of content and want to see more of this and other pokemon content do hit that button down below Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day. Good luck farming this event over the weekend when it's running. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.